In today's video, I'm going to review, install, and test this GPS U-Blocks USB uh, dongle. And it's going to be on a Raspberry Pi. It's a Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gigs, and I am running Debian 12. And so the reason that I want to use it, and I absolutely need it, is because I have Echos installed here, which is an open source astrophotography uh, software package and the there is no way that I can effectively set the time and location on a Raspberry Pi when I'm out and about on remote photography because there's no internal battery and I don't have uh, one of those little chips with the batteries that will sync the time and whatnot. So it works great if you just plug it into the network cable but so often I am away from any kind of internet and so I need an, a way to effectively update this automatically. And so here we are outside. And what this flashing means is that it has locked on to satellites. And so it is now working. And I'll go through the installation process. Now, these cost about, I think, 10 bucks or something like that. And so you have to understand you know, what you're getting for that money. The antenna is really weak. And they, uh, this one absolutely will not work inside whatsoever. It cannot acquire a signal. But I don't need that. I'm always outside with my astrophotography gear. And so it works for me perfectly outside for the intended purpose. And so let's get started and install the software. So I have the GPS plugged in and have it near the window. And I don't have a signal because I'm inside but I do know this GPS works if I go outside. So what I'm going to do is install all the software and get it ready, and then I'll go outside and see if I can get some satellites. So this is running Debian 12 Bookworm. So the first thing I want to do is just uh, show that the GPS is plugged in. So it's LS USB, and then here you can see that we've got the UBlox uh, device plugged in, the UBlox 7 there. And then we want to install the uh, GPSD software. So I am copying and pasting from my notes and I've looked at several tutorials. And so I'm going to sh give you all of the relevant uh, code needed for the Debian 12 installation. And so the first command there is to install the GPSD software and its dependencies. And so I'll either put it on my website or I'll put it in the link below all of the codes I use uh, for this particular installation. And so the first one there is sudo apt minus y install gpsd space gpsd dash clients. And that will work on Debian 12. So the next command is sudo nano etc default gpsd. And then we're going to add some lines to the config file. Now with nano, you need to arrow down in between these quotes and paste. Uh, the mouse does not work. And so we're going to add this dev uh, slash TTY ACM0 in there in devices. And under the GPS options, we're going to add a minus N. And then uh, we need to add an auto start daemon at the end. All right, then let's do this one and write this. Uh, again, in Nano, you want to do Control O to write and then Control X to exit, and that'll save the changes to the config file. Now, the next step here is to add an app called Crony, which will synchronize the time to the GPS module. And the command here is sudo apt-get install crony. And then uh, I'll pause the video and we'll come back when that is complete. All right, so we're going to reboot. All right, the Pi is rebooted. We're going to see if GPSD is running. 
that's running and we'll check whether this crony is running and it is now at this point you can open up a window and see if you have a signal type gpsmon n now i will not show anything on mine because i am indoors but I will have the window show up that at least has where the data is and that's a very good sign and so to get the actual satellites I'm going to have to go into the backyard all right now I came outside and I put this on the deck and it wasn't just but a couple of minutes until it started blinking and then I went back into the monitor and I now receiving satellites automatically. So um, a couple of notes here. One thing you want to reboot it without it being plugged into the network cable. And I read online somewhere that uh, that will force it to uh, sync to the GPS instead of trying to go to the network and then um, back and forth because the Raspberry Pi can get the information from the internet or from the GPS device. And so I also went into Echoes after I rebooted it out here in the backyard and it has an absolute perfect time now and the location is also updated. And so that's all there is to it and now I have a, a way to automatically uh, sync the date, time, and location uh, for the uh, Raspberry Pi and echoes and I don't have to try to manually try to figure it out because for astrophotography it's absolutely critical that you have the correct time and location or else it just won't uh, work right with the go-to and whatnot. So this is a handy little device and it isn't very much money. I'll have a link in the description below and I've successfully used it with Astroberry and also with the most current version of echoes and here it is with Astroberry on the Hadley telescope a couple of days ago and it works just fine. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.